channel into another video. I know it's been a few days since I posted a new vlog for Vlogmas. Um, I don't really have an excuse. Your girl just got burnt out posting videos every single day. Um, Vlogmas is really a lot harder than I was expecting it to be. Mainly because like I'm sure I'm not the only creator who's done this. Like we had like a whole schedule of like videos that we we're going to shoot. Um, but it's a little hard to come up with video ideas in the pandemic, especially because everything got shut down. So like I had planned to take you guys ice skating with me and like a whole bunch of these things that I can no longer do because we're in a pandemic. So yeah, but you know, we're going to push through um, and try to get through the rest of the Vlogmas day. So just think of, you know, Vlogmas day 10 through 15. It exists in the same multiverse as the Formation World Tour video. Like they exist together well somewhere in the ether well, they out there somewhere um but for today's video um it's gonna be pretty chill i am getting ready for work um and i realized that i haven't really given you guys like an update on my skincare um if you watch my like travel vlog to oregon i was telling you guys that i had broke out really really bad um and i picked up a few new products while i was out there from ulta so wanted to give you guys an update on exactly how my skin is reacting to those products um, and kind of like what I've been doing to help uh, combat the acne that I, I, I had a huge acne flare up. I don't know exactly where it came from, but I'm pretty sure it came from over exfoliation. I didn't like go see a dermatologist or anything. I just went down like skincare TikTok, which is a whole world, a whole like I just went through that whole rabbit hole and it's a thing. So I'm pretty sure that is how I got like such a bad um, flare up because my skin is ne was never as bad as it, it was then. So I'm pretty sure that was the cause of like my like my acne flare up. But my skin is on the up and up finally. It's starting to like turn around and get back to normal. So I figured I would show you guys exactly what I've been doing. And we haven't talked in a couple of days. So I figured it would just be chit chat and I'll like just give y'all updates on some other stuff that's going on with me. So when I had my really bad acne flare up, I switched cleansers because I thought that I needed to like switch to an acne cleanser but I am thinking that that kind of helped make the flare up worse because the product that I was using had benzoyl peroxide which is like supposed to bring um all of the like gunk to the surface so once it all comes back up like it's gonna break you out and stuff and I was picking it because it was so tight and sore and just irritated um so that didn't help things either but when I went back to using my normal I stopped using that after about like a month or maybe like a month and a half and I was like this is getting worse it's not getting better so I went back to the cleanser I was previously using before my like uh, acne flare-up and my skin like almost immediately went back to normal so um, this is the cleanser that I'm as you can see it's like pretty much empty this is the cleanser that I use the Ole Henrinson, um find your balance oil control um, cleanser and yeah so once I went back to using this cleanser, which I have used um, for a while now, I actually have a few skincare videos on my YouTube channel already featuring this cleanser. Um, but once I went back to that, like my skin kind of calmed down and like kind of re-regulated itself. So basically what I learned from skincare TikTok is that if you over exfoliate, you like destroy your skin's like moisture barrier or whatever. So once that's depleted, then you're most susceptible to how it reacts can be a number of ways. For some people that is more acne generated. So for me, because I over exfoliated and like completely destroyed that moisture barrier, um, I broke out really heavily like along my cheeks here, as you guys can see. Um, and a little bit on my chin, not really, not, I had a few breakouts on my forehead, not really. It mainly was just here along, um, my what's it called my ch uh, cheeks um where i broke out a lot so yeah once i went back to using this like the breakouts um slowly started to go away and i just really focused on i stopped exfoliating for a while or using chemical exfoliants for a while um and just really focused on like using products that were that had like niacinamide and like other like hyaluron uh, hyaluronic acid i can never say that to help replenish my skin and bring the moisture back and then i went back to introducing um a chemical exfoliant slowly like one by one okay so for a life update i don't know if you guys know about this like new social media platform app or whatever called clubhouse um it's basically it's like these virtual chat rooms where people can like start rooms 
um, and like you have moderators and whatnot and I basically the best way I can describe it to people is like listening to a podcast in real time and being able to like engage with the host like in real time um, and they're like rooms or like different topics and stuff like that and it's really interesting it's invite I think it's in, it's in the beta stage so it's invite only or whatever um, you have to know someone who's already on the app and then they have to like invite you in order to join and stuff like that I don't know when it's gonna be like released to the like whole world or whatever but y'all I'm addicted to this app it's I thought I was addicted to TikTok but clubhouse oh my god it's they have rooms literally on anything that you can imagine there's like influencer rooms they give you tips on like how to work with brands how to you know build your um your following all that kind of stuff there's rooms on like if you work in the entertainment industry like if you are like interested in the music industry and tv film all this stuff um there's i was in a room i think last week where it was just a whole bunch of black women who were dermatologists and estheticians and they were debunking myths on like skincare for black people like there's just literally any room that you can think of like it's probably on um clubhouse and you can start your own rooms so it's if you guys have access to clubhouse definitely take full advantage of it um and follow me on there so yeah girl, i'm a i'm addicted to clubhouse um i need to st i'll shoot maybe i'll start a room on there that's like clubhouse anonymous for all the other clubhouse addicts because it can take like the rooms like the very first day i joined i was listening to one room for like three hours it was like crazy like <laughs> literally on there for three hours and I was intrigued the entire time. It was great. Um, so yeah, that's, if you have Clubhouse, you already know how great it is. If you don't have Clubhouse, try to find someone who has an invite um, so that you can join. And when you do join, follow me. Um, okay, so one of the things I just did, so I stopped using washcloths to dry my face after I do my morning like routine or when I wash my face and stuff like that because washcloths apparently hold bacteria so I now use like I have a stack of paper uh, napkins in my bathroom and I just use those to like dry my face and stuff um so like I said I did go back now that my face is like starting to get back in order and stuff I have gone back and introduced a chemical exfoliant uh to my routine again you guys saw me pick up the pixie glow tonic um when I was in Oregon in that vlog and I have been loving this definitely helped my skin like turn around the glycolic acid is definitely I can't tell exactly if it's really doing a lot a lot to like um improve my dark marks i haven't really maybe i need to take a picture so i can compare like you know how it's looking over time um but as far as like my breakouts and like helping to clear my complexion and like the texture and stuff the glycolic acid is definitely doing that um so like a few of you like in the comments after i got this in uh oregon said that you really like this product and now i can see why finish washing my face and i only use this product like two maybe three times a week um, this is my second time using it so I'll just like you know eyeball exactly like how your skin feels uh, or how my skin feels and then I'll decide whether I need to use it again but this week has been a pretty good week for my skin so I think I'm probably only gonna need to use it twice and then maybe I'll do like a mask um, on Friday or something like that this is generally the step where I would apply uh, my vitamin C but I actually just ran out of it I need to run to Sephora today oh yeah I need to run to like Sephora and Target actually I still have a whole bunch of Christmas shopping to done to do uh, my sister came into town this past weekend which is also another reason why I wasn't vlogging because I was spending time with her but she came into town this weekend and we got all of our gifts that we're going to get our brother for Christmas I would tell you guys what they are but he watches my YouTube channel so I can't do that um but we like could not figure out what to get our parents so I still need to go to the store and figure out what we're going to get them for Christmas and is it just me it's so hard for me to like shop for other people for christmas because i be in the store and i be wanting to buy myself 
stuff for myself. Like I just bought myself my first pair of Jordans <laughs> the other day. And I was like, this money should have been used for Christmas. But you know, that'll be my Christmas gift to myself because I'm not buying anything else for myself. So that'll be it. Um, okay, but since I don't have my vitamin C, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my moisturizer slash SPF. It's so important that you guys put on sunscreen, SPF, whatever. Um, I prefer to use a product that is like dual purpose. So it's like the moisturizer, lotion, plus the SPF in it. So I've been using the CeraVe moisturizing lotion. Um, I'm also almost out of this, which is why I had to like open it and put it on my hands. But I really love this. It's this product and then the night cream. I also use the CeraVe night cream. These have really helped my skin repair the moisture balance. Um, I put these on and it just, I can feel my skin like cooling and toning down. So I really love these products. But another thing that I learned from skincare TikTok is to make sure that you put on enough of this like your sunscreen or your SPF so you should be wearing apparently about like half a teaspoon which seems like a lot of product um I'm not gonna lie it's a lot I don't even know this would be a lot easier if I had like the act of using the pump but this is about how much I'm using um this I I am black girl this does give me a little bit of a like white cast but uh, I'm over it. I don't care. I am not going anywhere for now. I'm just going to be on Zoom and with like all of the weird lighting that you get from Zoom anyway, you can't really see it. So it doesn't bother me that much. But I do try to like work this product in really well. Get your ears and your neck as well. Another life update y'all. Your girl officially tried online dating and I don't know, I just, I don't think it's for me. I don't. I signed up for like a dating app and I was on it for like a good month and like had a few conversations with people, but it just wasn't hidden. Like, I just, I don't know. Like, I think I'm the kind of person that really needs for in-person interaction and like, cause you can only do so much like online or on the phone or like through a dating app. Like I need to feel, feed off your vibe, your energy, all that stuff. So I don't know. I was, um, I joined, well, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna tell you guys which app I joined. But yeah, I was on one of these dating apps. Like I said, for about a month, met a couple people who were like pretty cool, but I don't know. I just, my heart wasn't in it. <laughs> And I'm the kind of person like I don't want to waste your time and I don't want to waste my time. So I knew like I was I knew that it wasn't really going to go anywhere. So I just stopped using it and put like my profile on pause. Maybe I'll try again in a couple months. But as of right now, I'm just I'm just chilling. Um, OK, so. That actually rubbed in pretty well today. I don't see as much of a cast. I only have like a few more minutes before I have to go hop on Zoom. I'm running late this morning. I really just did not want to get out of the bed. But you know, every day is a blessing. Um, God did not have to let us see another day. So who am I to complain? I got up, I worked out. I have some eggs boiling on the stove to eat breakfast. I'm blessed. I ain't got nothing to complain about. Shoot, I'm happy that I have a job in the middle of this panoramic, as people have been saying. I, that is like one of my favorite things on Twitter is people talking about um, the pandemic and call it literally every name under the sun except what it is. Oh, girl. You know your head is too dry for that. Um, yeah. So... Y'all saw that like bomb twist out that I did last week for Vlogmas. This is what my hair looks like a week later. So that's usually about the like lifespan of my twist outs and stuff. Like I'll do my hair, I wear my twist out for like a week. Um, it did last me the full like seven days. I was actually shocked. And then after that, I'll just wear my hair in a puff um, or a ponytail for like the following week if I don't feel like washing it yet and then i'll redo the whole product i try not to go longer than 
two weeks without washing my hair and deep conditioning and stuff. Um, but hey, sometimes your girl be lazy and it'd be like three weeks. It is what it is. I'm actually thinking about getting my hair braided pretty soon. So um, if that happens, you guys will see me pop up here with a new hairstyle. I tried to get my sister to braid my hair while she was here. She was really good at braiding hair, but she had got like acrylic nails for her birthday. So it would have taken her forever and we didn't have time for all of that. So yeah, um, I am going to go ahead and dip out. Um, oh shoot, this. Oh well. They're not gonna be able to see the back of my head, it's Zoom. <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and go to work before I'm late. <laughs> 